ago. It just bleeped at me. I don't know why. What's up, Dylan? I've got Dylan laying here next to me on the table. Um, I might have to put those ones away. Um, black. Have I got the black? Or is it in the other room? Let's see. No, I haven't got it. It's in the other room. Oh, never mind. Right. So while I'm doing that, luminance again. I'll get this one three five zero. What I did her cheeks with, and I'm just going to do her lips. She's got very thin lips, so. And there will be a little bit of a highlight on there as well, which we'll do with our Posca when we do her eyes. Um, but we'll just give her a bit of dark there. So she's got pinky lips, the same sort of one as her um, cheeks. Alright, let's stick that one back. Right, what we're going to do the flower. Um, what colour shall we do? Orange or pink? Oh, we could do any other colour. I think last time I did one of these, I'm sure I did it like cream and greens and and things, which were quite nice. Um, but I don't know if that'll show up what I'm doing. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's try some orange, I think. So I'll go for a really, really pale one. Um, and a. Start off with this one first, which is dark cadmium yellow, but it's sort of orangey. And I'm going to go all over really, really lightly with this as a base layer. <coughs> Frogging my throat again today. I've not really got rid of that cold that I had. Um, my voice, voice is still a bit gruffy, as you can hear. I've still got a bit of a cough. Um, just doesn't want to go. And when I went to the hospital to see the surgeon last week, we had to go for an x-ray and we were sat in this really, really tiny room and everybody was coughing. Everybody. And I had to get changed into a gown and wait outside the x-ray rooms. And this guy next to me, he said, um, if you're not coughing when you come in here, you will be when you come out. I said, yeah, this is ridiculous. And there was this lady next to me, and oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, everybody sort of, when they've been ill, they've got a little bit of a cough left over. Um, but this woman, she was in a full-blown cold or flu or whatever it was and she was coughing sneezing you could see that she felt awful and she didn't want to be there and I was thinking I don't want you here either I don't want to be catching it and I happened to be sitting right next to her anyway when I was in the gown and the guy said to me um if you're not coughing when you come come in you will be when you go out the girl the other side of me she said oh that woman she said um I was trying to hold my breath. I said, me too. I said, I was sat right next to her. And um, she was next to me, but she I was facing one way and she was facing across me. And so every time she coughed, although she put her hand up, it was like right across my path of breathing, basically. And I was thinking, I don't like this. And luckily I haven't touched wood. I haven't come down with anything yet. I've had it once and I'm still a bit gruffy from then. But, oh my goodness, that was awful. And really don't want that back again. Really don't. But, yeah, saw the surgeon and, yeah, fine. He says, he's a funny bloke. He's a really nice guy, but he's not one much for talking. Not like me. Um, he, we must have been, we waited like an hour. Um... I was late for the appointment because of the x-ray um, but he was running late as usual anyway 
so but I got to see him and he's like how's things been so I said oh not too bad and um, he said how's the shoulder I said wonderful he said was it worth having it done I said, oh definitely because it was the pain that I had it done for not to get more movement in it um, I still haven't got any more movement in it than what I had before probably slightly less um, but that's that doesn't concern me the, the main thing was I wasn't crying myself to sleep every night with that shoulder um, my other shoulder does play me up as well but not as not as much as this one did um, so he was a bit um, didn't really want to do it to begin with um, because he said I was too young and you know um, on the x-rays it didn't look like it needed doing right that's the first layer with dark cad cadmium yellow right then we'll go to maybe we'll go up one I think and we'll go to dark chrome yellow and he said that but I was young and he said uh, that you know in 10 20 years time I'll probably need it done again um, which now I've had it done and it was it was so easy it, you know it, it didn't bother me at all um, I was terrified to begin with because I was thinking oh my goodness they chop the top of your bone off and they ram a spike down and screw another ball on and oh my goodness and then the other side as well they they, they shave all that down and they screw a plastic piece in for the ball socket to rotate on and I was thinking oh my goodness um it's gonna be agony chopping your ball off and sticking things you know hammering bits down it and I was absolutely terrified but now I've had it done yeah it hurt but you know it, it doesn't kill you you know it's like it's bearable pain um the worst pain was i think where they rammed the stem down that was the most painful bit for me but um so i saw him anyway and he said how's it been i said fine definitely worth having it done show me he says so i had to um pull me i'm just doing this in the dark areas um so he said show me so i had to pull my shoulder down my dress down and show him my shoulder and the you know the scar oh great he says yeah that's doing well lift your arm up how can how far can you lift your arm up so i showed him and no more than i could before really only halfway um great he says um i'm supposed to see you because that was a third month um appointment and i was supposed to see him six months and nine months and 12 months after um i had it done and he said when did you have it done so i said september um, he said well you're doing so well he said keep up the exercises and things he said you're doing so well um, I won't see you at six or nine months I'll see you next September okay and that was that and like bye <laughs> so he's 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 a really nice guy but he's really sort of blunt and quick you know he doesn't and yet he's usually running late I don't know why he can be running late you know because he, he he has you in there so quick in and out you know but he knows his stuff you know and, and he's a good surgeon um the scar is healing really nicely actually when after two weeks i had to go and have the dressing taken off for the scar and when she took it off the nurse actually said oh my goodness and i said what thinking there was something awful under there you know and she said um that's the best healed scar I've seen in a long while. I said, really? She said, yeah, go look in the mirror. And I looked in the mirror and to me it looked awful because it was like red and you could see, you know, still sort of um, stitches sort of sticking out here and there that hadn't yet dissolved. And, and I thought, that looks good. Are you kidding me? And so others must look worse, obviously. So I was pleased about that and he was pleased, so... Yeah, I haven't got to see him in no more till September, so that's good. 
So, right, now we're going to go an even darker. And let's go that one. Whatever that one is, which is, oh, I can't read that one now. Dark chrome orange, I think. And where do they put these in such... Yeah, dark chrome, no, dark cadmium orange, sorry. They always put these in such gold or silver writing or something and you can't read them. I wish they'd put them in black or something that would show up that you could read. Right, now I'm going to go over the darker bits with this one. And see what we have. Keep an eye on my battery because I don't want it to suddenly disappear on me, which is what it did last time. It's just very annoying. So we might even be able to get her done, who knows? If we're lucky, we might. As if Dylan doesn't knock the tripod down. What's up, Dylan? What are you looking at? I don't know what he's looking at. I don't think he does either. Poor baby, he had to go to the vets last week. And it's really, really annoyed actually. Um, we took him to the vets for his annual um, DMAT. Um, we can brush certain parts of him, but underneath and that, he just will not let us touch him underneath in his chest. So basically, sort of from his under his chin to you know his bits and that, um, he won't let you touch him at all. So every year we sort of take him to the vets, and he has to be put out as well because he just bites everybody. He's such a docile, loving cat, but he he will get nasty if you touch his bits. As my husband found out when we took when he tried to do him once, and he bit him right through the fleshy part of his thumb, um, went up both sides, and oh, that was awful. Um, so we just take him now and they put him out, you know, for 20 minutes or whatever it is, however long it takes them to do him. And we say don't, I mean, a lot of places will, um, you know, um, brush him out and things. Um, but we always say don't bother, you know, brushing him out. Just, just shave him, you know, so long as he's comfortable. You know, we don't care what he looks like and I'm sure he's not bothered that he's bald from under his chin. Um, all the way to his bits, you know, and it takes a fair while to grow back anyway and to start knotting up again. Um, so, yeah, so long as he's comfortable, that's the main thing. Um, and they didn't do such a good job as they did last time. Obviously, it was a different nurse that did it. Um, and before we take the him, we always ask how much it's going to be um, so we can budget that amount. And we was quoted an amount on the phone when I booked it. And we said, that's okay, that's what we normally pay. Anyway, when we picked him up, they gave us the bill and we went to the till to pay. Um, we are on benefits, but PDSA will not accept our area. They only work in certain areas, which is really annoying. Um, but, so... Um, when we got to the till, it was actually cheaper than what we normally pay and what I'd been quoted. So I thought, oh, okay, perhaps they didn't, um, you know, have to do so much as they did last time. Because obviously, every time is different, whether how big his mats are and how long it takes them, etc. Um, and we just thought, oh, okay, you know, that's good. The next day, we got a phone call and my husband... Um, I don't let anybody walk over me. Um, my husband, I, I don't, I have to say that I don't like confrontations, um, but I will put my foot down um, if people are trying it on. And my husband was speaking and I thought, well, who's he talking to? And I was sitting next to him and he suddenly said, so how much you want, how much more? And, I, and then I, gathered who he was talking to and I said oh no they quoted us so and so I said we specifically asked on the phone how much it's going to be I said and they quoted us a certain amount so he was saying well we can't we haven't got the extra money because that's all we you know you told us that amount and that's what we you know benefit you know saved up for 
So um, she said, oh, well, that's just an estimate. And I said, well, you, so I said, give me that phone. <laughs> As I do, because I can be sort of quite forthcoming at times. And I said, excuse me, I said, you quoted us a certain amount. I said, now he's been done. You gave us the bill when we picked him up and we paid. Oh, uh, yes, she said, um, but the vet forgot to add a certain amount on for some something else, something or other. And I said, yeah, but I said, um, you can't, after we've paid, picked him up and paid, I said, you can't ring us up and ask for another amount. I said, if you've underestimated or forgotten to put something on the bill, I said, that is your problem, not mine. I said, you know, if you're going to be funny, we shan't bring him back to you anymore. We'll go elsewhere. And um, she was saying, oh, but, the, the, you know, we agree that it was our fault. The vets, you know, missed a bit off your bill. And I said, yeah, but you, you can't. If that's your fault. You should take the loss because it's your fault. You know, you made the mistake, not us. Um, you know, yeah, it was less than we quote when we expected to pay. So I said, how much are you how much are you saying we have to pay then? So she told us this amount. I said, You've got to be joking, ain't you? Oh well it took so I said, okay, I'll take ten minutes off. I'll take ten minutes worth of um, work off. I said, We will pay what you we we were quoted. Now I don't know the law, so I can't be completely sure on this. But I would think that if somebody has quoted you something and given you a bill and you've paid it and you've walked away, I don't think that they can actually ring you up afterward, the following day, and say, we made a mistake, we want you to pay extra. Um, so, I mean, I don't know the law, so I can't, you know, be quite sure on that. But I wouldn't have thought they could after you'd paid. And, you know, it's their mistake. They should accept the loss, as far as I'm concerned. So I said, right, I will pay what we were quoted, you know, what we expected to pay. I said, but I'm not paying any more than that. And um, with that, she realised that I was not going to back down. I was not going to pay what they wanted, so much extra. Um... I said, you know, she. I think she accepted that their mistake. They would have to take the loss. Um, but anyway, if 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 they had have put the right amount on the bill when we come to have pay, I would have argued it anyway. Um, you know, she said, oh well, that's an estimate. I said, yeah, but when I phone up and asked how much it's going to be, and I get told a certain price, I don't expect it to be, you know, any more. She said, oh, well, when you, when you um, filled in the form, um, you know, for him to have um, anaesthetic, when you filled in the form, it was on there. I said, well, I didn't read that. I said, I just signed it worrying that I was signing his death warrant if something happened to him. Um, I said, I didn't read it, go through it or read it all. I said, I know that, you know, we can't see you if something happens to him basically that's all that is I said so I just signed it because I was worried about him I just signed it and came out um, but I think they knew that that you can't really phone somebody up the following day and and ask for more money um, I thought that was a bit naughty maybe someone out there knows the law more than me who can advise me on that one um, which would be really grateful because if they do it again a second time I would really like to know where I stand on that um, but there you go uh, anyway Dylan came out of the um, anaesthetic fine um, and he's shaved so he's lump free now under his belly and his bits and things and so he's a happy bunny again or a happy cat should I say um, he's very happy again so that's the main thing so long as he's happy that's you know why we took him in because he was he was getting miserable and 
and we could feel the lumps were getting bigger and you know there comes a point where we have to say right we're gonna have to you know get the money and from somewhere and and take him in you know so but he's happy again and Lily she's just she's just Lily <laughs> Lily's just Lily basically um, I'm gonna use the lightest one again which is dark cadmium yellow um, just go slightly all over and just blend that in a bit um, yeah she's a white short haired cat so I mean she doesn't need brushing well she would do brush her but she's not really bothered she doesn't she's not got long fur like Dylan she doesn't get lumps and and things in her um, but yeah so he's happy again and the dog's happy and Zach's kind of happy Zach's happy when he can go out and see his friend like he did the other day um, which is nice it gives us a bit of a break um, and sometimes he stays there overnight which is even better um, and, and he enjoys that you know he when he's here like he's still in bed now and it's what is it 10 to 6 in the evening and he's still in bed I've had him wandering around up there going to the toilet or whatever but you know he's not been downstairs for anything to eat but he says he wants to and then when he does come down he moans and groans and says what's to what is the tree what can I have I want things that are healthy I want to get fit and I say to him well if you want to get fit and healthy then you're going to need to start eating properly come down at a proper time have breakfast have lunch and have dinner not come down um, you know at tea time and then tea between tea time and bedtime um, stuff yourself silly you know um, which is what he does at the minute which is not very good so there you go that's Zach for you um, these aren't looking too bad I never pick colours and I never um, this is how I work I just think Hmm, what colour do I fancy doing that? And I'll just pick it up and do it. And that either works, colour combination of, or either works or it doesn't. Um, it usually comes out not too bad. Which I don't mean, these are too bad. I hope you can see them. The camera looks completely white. I don't know why. But it looks like her face is white. It isn't. I hope you can see that it's not white. Um, but yeah, I mean these are sort of, these are quite good because they've got lines like in the flowers. And when I go over it with a pencil, I don't know whether any of you have noticed that, some books, it feels like, although the, the colours are there and the sort of lines are drawn there, the bumpiness, this is quite bumpy paper. And you can sort of, it feels like there's grooves, obviously there isn't. It feels like these grooves, just where the, you know, colours and that are on the on the petal, because obviously these aren't flat, completely smooth petals. They have got like ridges and sort of things on them, and it feels like a real petal when I do it with the pencil, as if it's got the ridges in, and the pencil colour seems to go exactly where it needs to go, like if it was ridged, you know weird definitely weird but they're not too bad that's a really pale orange i don't know whether i want to do it darker or not i know this one is yellow but it's a i'm just using it to blend in really um i do do mine too light i know i do let's go in again with this dark one i've got a really bad habit of my pitch has been really, really light. Um, I know, it's, you know, I've just got to work with it more to, because of the light layers, I've got to work with it more to bring, make it a deeper colour. Um, but yeah, let's have a go. Let's see. Hmm. Coming out a bit darker. I just wanted to be able to see this on camera because I know I do colour fairly lightly. 
and things don't always show when I take a picture or like the ones I've put on Instagram that came out sort of paler than than they really are in real life. Um, they do look, I know it's a lot of my pictures do look washed out but they're actually not in real life. They're actually more colourful than, you know, than, than they look. Um, which is really annoying because it means that I've got to try and colour that little bit darker just to um, just to get it to show up for you guys alright and it's just showing up a little bit darker not much but a little bit so I hope you can hear me I do have a tendency on speaking rather quietly I do that and naturally my husband always says, what, I can't hear you. My dad, he's, he'll be 80 this year. So he's sort of going deaf, obviously. And um, he always says, you whisper, I can't hear you. You whispering. I'm not whispering, Dad, I'm not. I'm just talking normally. Um, but obviously his hearing is going a bit, I think, because um, he can never hear me either. I have to sort of shout when I'm around him just so he can hear me and then sometimes he says what are you shouting for okay so you can hear me I can hear you okay so there you go everybody's milling around now it's getting to tea time so you're all starting to mill around uh, I don't know how long I've been on here it should say on there it's time probably does somewhere but it looks like the battery is going to go very very soon so what I'm going to do, do guys is I'm going to say goodbye here and the next stream I do we will come back to it because I do not want my battery to just, just suddenly cut off on you because I think that's really rude um, so I will say goodbye and I will keep this picture for next time and carry on from where we left off so, hope that's okay for you guys. Thanks for looking. Thanks for watching. Hope you can see okay. See you later. Bye.